Any download, pending software install, link or website can be a sneaky trap that could live in your device, slowly stealing your personal information. I am talking about InfoStealer malware. Let's break it down. InfoStealer malware is a malicious software equipped with information stealing scripts. Simply put, it is designed to steal data from the victim's devices without their consent or knowledge. On a personal level, it means losing valuable personal information and finances. But on a corporate level, it could mean a hindered reputation, lost clients, and ultimately lost business. InfoStealers can be programmed to steal specific data. After threat actors gather the needed information, like session cookies, they can potentially impersonate legitimate employees, bypass multi-factor authentication, and gain access to corporate accounts. For instance, an employee downloads a browser extension, opens a random Word document, or clicks on a legitimate-looking malicious ad. This could be enough to unleash an infostealer and activate the malicious code in the background. Setting up this trap is not complicated, and with the technology capabilities of modern AI, the chance of success is even higher. These so-called traps can have many forms, for example, phishing, from fake email messages to malicious links, courier messages, and even fake login pages. The sky is the limit here. Malicious ads and downloads, various too-good-to-be-true downloads or fake software installs, compromised websites, pirated software downloads, or simply visiting an unsafe website. Let's talk about the bones and guts of InfoStealers. InfoStealer malware can target specific information such as login credentials, credit card details, session cookies and tokens, any files on the desktop, and any downloaded files. Now, all this information is stored in what is known as a malware log. An InfoStealer log is like a set of stolen user data. Let's dig a bit deeper and dive into the anatomy of an InfoStealer log. Here is the world's best known InfoStealer red line. You can see emails, credit cards, passwords, IP addresses, and computer hardware IDs. All this information travels back to the hackers. And, as scary as it sounds, thousands of these stealer logs get bundled and sold in bulk on the dark web or various telegram channels, a true gold mine for threat actors. Today, malware subscriptions are nothing new in the cybercrime ecosystem. Malware as a service examples like Redline or Raccoon are sold for subscription fees. And that's not good news for companies because these so-called services enable less skilled actors to deploy malware. In general, malware development is hands-on, challenging, complicated, and requires deep knowledge, which is why malware as a service is a profitable and scalable business model. InfoStealers are sneaky, but there are ways to avoid them to keep yourself and your business safer. The key areas to focus on are Monitoring for breach data, like passwords, cookies, and other credentials. Avoiding downloads from suspicious sites and avoiding clicking on random links. Be especially careful if you use the Windows OS. Malware writers focus on this operating system because it has many subsystems that could be infected and exploited. Monitoring malware-infected devices that have access to the most sensitive company data. One thing is for sure, InfoStealer malware can lurk anywhere online. So, practicing good cyber hygiene on a personal level is a must. On a corporate level, things are trickier, but with the help of a reliable monitoring platform, it is possible to stay alert and ready. With Nordsteller, you can identify employees whose devices were infected in real time. You can mitigate risks faster and prevent further damage. Know what hackers know. Get Nordsteller and stay safer online.